Konami and the Aliens franchise are no strangers. In 1990, they released the pixelated perfection that is the Aliens arcade game, which the advertisement poster for it graces the corner of my collection room. This was an absolute banger of a game and quite a shame we didn't get a home port in some shape or form. Please excuse the battle damage SNES, it does still work though, just in case you're wondering. Looking at the designs of the Xenomorphs, I can see the resemblance to the Lennard Aliens figures released in 2020. Perhaps there was inspiration from the video game. Red Xenomorph, Green Xenomorph, Yellow Xenomorph. Even a xenomorph with a green face hugger. Blue xenomorph, green again. And a purple queen. A xenomorph rainbow of awesomeness. Oh, let's get back on track. About 14 years after the Aliens arcade game was released, Konami, the video gaming powerhouse, made a wave of Aliens figures. Nothing like the ones in the video game but tiny, movie accurate and yet high detailed figures which happens to closely coincide with the release of the AVP movie. They came from gachapon machines in Japan. These are machines which you uh, place a coin in and you turn and you twist and you twist and it makes a noise like gacha 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 and then a toy comes out encapsulated in a cool little plastic shell. I'm not sure how they fitted in the machine, most likely from a claw machine. They came with candy and bubble gum. Mine were much too old to eat. They are highly detailed painted model kits that require a little assembly, kind of like high-end Kinder Egg toys. Each comes with its own display base or stand, depending on what kind of model it is. Some actually come with, it kind of looks like a real piece of the ground of LV426. From volume one of these series of figures, we will be talking about the very thing that attached itself to Kane's face, the infamous face hugger. Starting with what it will be displayed on, the base is a hard vinyl plastic that has a metallic painted patterned decking effect that looks straight out of the amazing mineral hauling space truck. This could be displayed well with any figure from the Aliens universe as long as it's in scale. A lot of the figures in this series have bases with pegs, but this one doesn't have them. It doesn't need the added support because the face hugger is to be displayed horizontally. The underside of the base has a basic grey colouring and some writing. The title of the movie Alien, production date of the movie and the production date of the figure. The face hugger is amazingly detailed and sculpted from the top to bottom, tail to front. It has all of the correct ridges in the tail and the top end has all the correct veins, lines and bumps and connects succinctly with the appendages that include great detail on the knuckles and posed at just the right angles. Ready to latch on to someone's face. The attention to detail is amazing, right down to its fingertips. Inspired by HR Giga's idea to add artificial fingernails to the fingers of the face hugger in the movie. This is no exception and even has 
golden nail polish that could have been applied at a top nail shop. Now let's look at the underside which takes the detail to a whole new level. Following all of the characteristics of the face hugger from the first movie in terms of shape and colour. They have created the illusion that this could very well implant an embryo into an unwilling host. The perfect miniature menacing parasite. Although the figure is very small, it does require a little assembly and the tail must connect to the upper part. There is a small line between the two, but it really isn't distracting at all as it seamlessly fits in with the rest of the lines in the tail. The underside of the tail has the Fox logo printed on it. The tail is made from a soft plastic that is a little flexible and bendy, but as I said earlier, these figures are strictly display pieces. It is not poseable like the Hot Toys face hugger, for example. And the upper part feels more rigid, especially the digits, thus makes it more brittle. Posing it will likely cause it to snap, spraying acid everywhere, eating through your floor. I would say it's just a shade under one sixth scale and fits in perfectly with any alien, aliens or AVP display. I choose to display it like this. Sadly, that was the last collaboration between Konami and the Aliens universe. I would love to see another one, perhaps a remake of the Aliens game for current gen consoles, or these figures perhaps. Would you like the Aliens universe to join forces again with the gaming giant Konami? If so, what would you like to see? Comment down below. If you like videos about the Aliens franchise and rare figures, you might like to check out my Kenner Vasquez Aliens mini documentary right here. Thank you very much for watching and taking this intergalactic ride with me. Thank you.